Hi guys! Welcome to this episode of I Wanna Eat. Today we're going to be making takoyaki, a famous Japanese street food. Takoyaki is pieces of octopus cooked into a round bowl shape in butter, though you can also use other fillings like shrimp. Today we're using this takoyaki machine we bought on Amazon, which makes 18 pieces that are about 1.5 inches in diameter. Our measurement for the recipe makes two batches, so 36 pieces of takoyaki. Ingredients are octopus, we found cooked one at Costco, shrimp, green onion, flour, eggs, and dashi powder. Now, let's get started. First, we'll make the butter. We will first prepare dashi stock by dissolving dashi powder in water. I like my takoyaki with very strong dashi taste, so I will use one tablespoon of dashi powder to make 500 milliliter or two cups of dashi stock. You can of course make your own dashi stock from kombu kelp and bonito flakes, but the powder is very easy and quick and also cheaper substitute. Next, get two thirds of a cup of flour, then two eggs. Then, add a little bit of dashi stock and whisk it until smooth. Mixing the butter first before preparing other ingredients will also allow the butter to sit for a while, giving the flour some time to absorb the liquid and giving the butter a smooth texture when cut. When there are no more clumps of flour left, add the remaining dashi and whisk again. Now you will end up with this very smooth butter. Now, we'll prepare the ingredients. First, we'll chop green onions. Then, cut the octopus into bite sized chunks, making sure they are size that will fit the machine. For shrimp, we're gonna take the head off and remove the shells. You can use either fresh or frozen ones. Either way, we recommend raw shrimp to avoid overcooking. Then, like the octopus, cut them into smaller chunks. Now, let's start cooking. First, make sure to cover the surface with a good amount of oil. Easy way is to soak a piece of paper towel in oil and rub the pan with it. Make sure to cover the entire pan and not just the holes. Then turn the machine on and wait till it's hot. Then add the butter. If you hear sizzling, that's a good sign. Pour butter until the molds are full and almost overflowing. Drop in the ingredients. Some octopus. Or shrimp if you don't like octopus or if you can't find octopus. Then top with green onion. And if you have some, you can also put bini shoga or pickled ginger. If adding these ingredients did not cause the butter to overflow, add some more to cover the flat part of the pan. Once the butter on the flat part starts to harden, use skewers or chopsticks to push one side and rotate the takoyaki to flip them. When you push one side and flip the takoyaki, the butter on flat surface will be stuck on the side and come off with the bottom half sphere. So, when that happens, just tuck the extra in the hole to form the other half of the sphere. I am not an expert on making takoyaki. But what I noticed from making several batches of them is that the more butter is on the flat part of the pan, the better the end result will be. And ensure that you have pretty, round shape instead of ending up with football or Stewie Griffin's head. Then, 
Keep turning the takoyaki in the pan to give it a round shape. Once all sides are cooked, take them out of the machine. Make sure to wipe the pan clean and put more oil between batches so they don't stick or be covered with the burnt bits from the first batch. This is a finished takoyaki. The outside should be crispy, but the inside should still be soft and melt in your mouth. If you want them to be extra crispy, you can add some oil in some empty compartments and then roll takoyaki in it to fry the outside. Finally, we can top the takoyaki with sauce and mayonnaise. And if you have it, bonito flakes, powdered nori, or green onions are also good addition for toppings. For sauce and mayonnaise, our favorite is otahuku and kewpie. You should be able to find them in most of the Asian grocery stores, but we'll also put Amazon links in the descriptions. And there you go, easy takoyaki at home. It is an umami bomb that melts and fills your mouth with dashi flavor. The sweetness of the sauce and tangy mayonnaise are mixed with the umami from the octopus and butter and melt together in your mouth. The chewiness of the octopus will leave a lasting umami. Thank you everyone so much for watching this episode of I Wanna Eat. If you enjoyed this video, please remember to like, subscribe, and comment on what recipe you'd like to see next. We are a new YouTube channel and we upload weekly, so it really helps us out. Thank you.